While we get access to a lot of features with our basic Python installation, there are so many smart people out there building packages and modules for all types of projects. To use anything that is not loaded by default or which we downloaded ourselves via third-party packages, we need to import it into our Jupyter Notebook. Remember, we can only import a module after we've installed it in our virtual environment, which in our case we will do with pip. One approach is to import the entire module itself by writing import before the module name. So let's look at an example with pandas. We could write import turns green pandas. And when we run it, now we have our pandas library imported. If we were to import the module like this, then we could only access the functions within the package by prefixing them with pandas. So if we had a read CSV function, we would have to call it by writing pandas dot read CSV. Because of this, it is often easier to give the module an alias, especially those which we will be calling a lot. There are certain packages that have standard naming conventions that we will follow. So for pandas, we are going to give it the alias PD. And to give a package an alias name, you're going to write as after it. So we can write import pandas as PD. Another, another common example is with the numpy package. Import numpy as mp. Now, if we wanted to call that same read CSV method, we could write PD read CSV. This is much cleaner, and again, when you are poking around the internet on Stack Overflow, you're going to see these standard naming conventions. If we need to access specific methods from a module, which we will at times, we can import them explicitly and use them without qualification. So, Let's look at an example with our mean squared error function. Let's say we had predicted steals and we said that was four, seven, two, and one. And we had actual steals, which are five, six, seven, and one. And we will call the mean squared error function from our sklearn library. So to import it directly, we will say from sklearn metrics import mean squared error. Now we could run it explicitly, passing it the predicted steals and the actual steals, and we'll want to save this. somewhere and then we can print it. Oh. In this example, we imported the mean square error function from sklearn metrics and then called it immediately in our script. This is an example we will use later on when measuring our model's performance.